Hello, and welcome to another Foodie Friday. I am in my hostel, which is why the lighting is so weird. I have a flashlight shining on my face. But I just wanted to introduce the food that I ate as a test to the Dutch culture. I started with a three-course meal at a lovely Dutch restaurant. So I started with a rosé beer, which is exactly what it is, pink beer. And then I had a Capri salad, which was amazing and just pretty pretty regular, not gonna lie. And then I had steak with a Dutch version of, I want to say mash, it has vegetables in it as well, and french fries and salad also with that. And then for after dinner, I had a cheese plate, which is the first time I've ever had a cheese plate, and it was amazing. Dutch cheese is amazing. So that was delicious. And then the rest of the week, I was actually pretty bad at filming. Um, I did, however, try a very special type of Dutch French fry dip. So you take the French fries and then you have a peanut sauce, a mayo, and put chopped onions and mix the three, you know, kind of things and then dip your French fry in it. And it was... The first bite or two, it was actually kind of gross, but then after a few, I was addicted and I ate the whole thing and it was amazing. So it was definitely something you had to like try and like actually commit to, but I'm really glad I did because it was actually amazing. Then um, Aline showed me a type of Dutch and then also Belgian, Aline's from Belgium. Um, Aline showed me a Belgian and Dutch, um, kind of wintry snack, so here's the clip of that. That's low. <laughs> Look what we're having. What are they called? Olibola. Olibola. Should I, oh, I'm not Should I try? Yeah, go for it. That looks good. Oh. That's so cool. Oh, really nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> those are good. They're really good. And those were really good. They were huge. Apparently in Belgium they are smaller. So she ordered more than um, we really needed. But they were really, really good. And very filling. Oh, and we also got hot cocoa and tea. Unfortunately, I didn't feel much food. I'm actually really disappointed in myself, but everything I've had is good. A lot of um, the Dutch people I've talked to did say that the Dutch food they eat at home doesn't get served in restaurants. They don't really have like Dutch homey restaurants like um, Germany or the U.S. does. So um, when you go out to eat, you go out and eat other types of food like sushi or Mexican or stuff. So we did have Mexican food and it was phenomenal. But anyway, if you want to see more of what I did in Rotterdam and why I was in Rotterdam in the first place, and if you want to continue to watch and see what I'm doing, um, you can subscribe here. Um, my vlog about Rotterdam will be out on Monday and it will be a pretty good one. And then if you want to watch last week's vlog, you can click here. And um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!